Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I'll give you a walkthrough of one of the retire machine of Hack the Box and the machine name is we can say that it's a null chuck and in this machine we'll try to cover all the steps how to get it how to get the user flag first then go to the root flag what are the privileges which we have to use it to get the root flag finally okay so everything i'll just try to get it covered in this video so let me go to my system now to get it compromised this machine so in this machine uh, we just have to run the nmap is the first command we have to get it triggered and the machine name is nunchas so in this machine uh, what exactly we just have to figure out first is the target ports are running on the target machine so let me run the nmap first and just wait for the output to get the uh, what exactly the ports are running on the target machine itself so as we can get the output and we can able to see port 22 port 80 443 is enabled over here itself okay so what's the next step for it so next step is we simply have to run the go buster just to identify the subdomain okay so as i can see directly like uh, store.nunchucks.stb is the domain okay that's it's over there itself okay and uh, one more thing which i forget to tell you like uh, you have to put the host entry also so when we running the nmap you can able to see uh, you can able to get this domain name okay so this one is also you have to do it from your side so make sure that you have did the entry of this okay once you're done with that just run the go buster and through the go buster we are getting this store dot this entry uh, subdomain is also we have just figured out with the go buster now what exactly we have to do we simply have to add this stored one also in our host file so that we can able to get all the details about it so i can you can able to see the store dot nunchucks dot stv is also the entry is present over there itself forget about these two entries it's a duplication okay so now what exactly the next step for it we try to get it access this directly on our browser so let me try to get it access directly on a browser I'm not sure whether it will work or not okay i have to start the burp also okay looks like perfect now what we can do we simply try to get it access this okay so it's look like a static page nothing is inside of it now what we can do we'll try to pass one of the entry and see like what is the output we can able to see this okay so now just for just for stuff just to check whether it is there any possibility of sti over here or not we'll try 7 cross 7 also over here and in the output we can able to see 49 okay that's i can able to understand like um, the possibility of uh, SSTI is over here itself okay now what's the next step for it now we simply have to forward the traffic to our burp so let me enable the burp and I just have to enable that one okay and I'll just forward the traffic wait a minute I'll simply forward the traffic and I'll forward this traffic to repeater and I'll change the content to this this template you can get it very easily so don't worry about it you can get this and what exactly is the content we are looking for it slash etc slash passability we are looking for it let me click on send i can able to get the output out of it so now what exactly the next step for it we are doing the SS, we are using the ssti vulnerability and by that way we are forwarding our one liner inside of it and once it's reaching to the server it get triggered and we get the reversal out of it so that was one of the thing which we are looking for it let me copy it and go into the terminal once again and i'll run this okay by this way by this way you can able to see like base64 content which i have to use it inside of the template of ssti i'll simply have to use it to get the reversal out of it so that was one of the thing and now i'll simply have to run hyphen nlvp 443 okay this is one of the thing and other than that i have to go to the 
terminal once again no on the bulb i think i have to go and in this repeater section i'll simply have to replace it so you can see that content which i have created of base 64 and i'll trigger it once i'll trigger it i'm getting the shell okay i'm getting the david bash shell now what we have to do we simply have to go to the home folder then to the david and now oh sorry i think something is wrong david and now user.txt i can able to read the content now what exactly the next step for it we have to go instead of the opt and over here i can see a backup.pl i can able to read the content of that file also okay now after running a lint piece uh, we just able to identify couple of things related to that so i'll show you that one by one so by that way we just came to know about it like uh, there is a package of pol kit a uh, known cv is available in the market and that version is a vulnerable one so that was the reason before proceeding further this is the thing we just have to identify the version of pk exec and even the permissions of the files which we are looking with the current user so we'll just check the permissions with this once we get the details about it using this file i have already downloaded on my system the link is provided in my uh, write-up also you can get it very easily i'll put it this over here okay so this one is the link of oh, sorry i just have to disable the verb suit okay i think i can have to success yeah so this one is over here itself let me go to the terminal once again okay i'll just go inside of this just go inside of this and i will show you that you can able to see fine okay so now what exactly we have to do we will simply have to run this go to the terminal once again and i'll go to the temp folder now i'll run this 10.10.14.16 slash the name of the file you simply have to get it copy from here and i'll put it over here okay it's done now ch mode plus x and this and now we'll have to run this and i can able to see i'm a root now what we have to do we'll just go inside of this and able to see the content of root.txt also so i'll explain you what exactly the things we are doing it inside of it so we simply have to run the standard uh, standard thing like i nmap we have to run it by that way we get the result like port 80443 and 22 is enabled which looks like a linux based machine now we'll proceed further with port 80 we'll we'll just try to see the content of it and it's not looks like anything uh, we can get it out of it that was the reason <coughs> i run with the go buster and uh, looking for the subdomain for it which we have uh, using a filter like we host by that we are just came to know about it like store dot uh, dot stb is the subdomain which is available we'll put the host entry for it trying to get it access we just able to see like there is an email um, tab is over there itself we just put the email and click on notify and by that we get uh, put it in the, inside of it will feel like it maybe ssti is a possibility over there as a vulnerability is maybe over there itself we'll try with that and yeah it's working then by that way we initially we uh, we creating a template in such a way where we just fetching the details about the past vulnerability once we get the detail about it we'll proceed further and we'll make one liner script in a base64 content we'll put it embedded inside of the template and then we'll trigger it we get the reverse shell then once we get the reverse shell we'll just proceed further for the now i can say that uh, home directory and try to see the user or txt content then we'll go to the opt folder and then we'll see that uh, pl file which is already present over there itself after running a lint piece we just get the detail about the vulnerable version of um, i can say the pol kit uh, it's a vulnerable version then we'll just uh, we'll just trying to get it download the known cve which is available in a market itself there is a c based script is available in the market we'll try to get it compiled on my local machine and then just make it executable and get it copied on my target machine then to get it execute we are in the root uh, i can say that our root privileges and then we can go to the root directory and can able to see the content of the root.txt that these are the all these all the stuffs which i just want to get it covered in this video thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on linkedin the linkedin profile link i'll provide in the description section of this video 
and if you like to if you like to provide the feedback you can provide the feedback in the comment section of this video thank you so much once again take care bye bye